Hello there. Let's figure out these trig ratios. SOHCAHTOA is a useful acronym for um, keeping straight what the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios count. So I'm going to set up a right triangle here. So just to clarify, the angle in a right triangle opens up to what is the opposite side. Right, so that opens to the opposite. It's a right triangle, so there is a hypotenuse. And then this last side that's next to the angle is called the adjacent. Now there's actually two that are next to it, but this one has a special name as the hypotenuse, so the remaining one's adjacent. So organizing your right triangle like this with the acronym SOKA TOA helps you keep straight which ratio you're interested in. So the sine ratio, sine, not sin, is so opposite over hypotenuse. Then we got the cosine. And the cosine ratio for that angle, so ka, ka is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And that leaves us with tangent toa, and the toa that is opposite over adjacent. All right, so on to the problem. I'm going to find sine, cosine, and tangent for angle A over here. Um, we need to know the hypotenuse. So this is a special triangle, 5 squared plus 12 squared, 25 plus 144 is 169, square root of that is 13. This one's well worth memorizing, it's one of those Pythagorean triples. Now the angle here, the 5 is the opposite, so if I'm going to do sine, that's going to be the opposite, which is 5, over the hypotenuse of 13, and that doesn't reduce. Cosine, I want the one that's next to it. That is, well, 12 and 13 are both next, but 13 is the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is 12, over the hypotenuse is 13. And then the tangent, so ka toa, toa is opposite, which is that 5, what it opened up to, over the adjacent, 12. Okay, now down to this one. Uh, I got this angle C here. So I'm going to have the opposite's going to be the uh, 16. Um, now I need to be careful here that the 90 degree angle is opening up to the 65. That makes that the hypotenuse down there. So I need to do the Pythagorean theorem to figure out this unknown length. Okay, so I'm subtracting because i got to get uh, shorter. If I wind up with something larger than 65, I obviously did it wrong. And the square root of that is... Oh, it's an integer. Huh, so 16, 63, 65 is also a Pythagorean triple. Maybe you should commit that one to memory too. Nah. All right, sine ratio. Sine of C. Sine is opposite. The opposite is the 16. That's what it's opening up to. Over the hypotenuse is the 65, not the 63 down there. And that does not reduce. 65, remember, is 13 times 5. And neither of those are uh, factors of 16. Okay, cosine. Cosine is the adjacent, which is next to the C. So there are two that are next to it, 63 and 65, but 65 is the hypotenuse. So this one is 63 over 65, and that doesn't reduce either. Tangent. Tangent ratio, soka toa, toa is opposite, so the opens up to the 16, over the adjacent, which is in this case is 63, and that one does not reduce either. Alright, character and scholarship for life.